Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Indian Navy currently operates 16 conventional submarines. The number will further increase to 17 when the last submarine of cavalry class Vakshir will be inducted in 2024. Out of 17 submarines, 6 are the new cavalry class submarines and remaining 11 are older German type 209 class and Russian Kilo class submarines which have almost completed two decades of the service. Also, none of the existing fleets of submarines of Indian Navy are equipped with AIP system. At the same time, MDL's production line has gone almost idle after the launch of Vakshir, the last submarine of Project 75. However, the development in last six months shows again Navy's immaculate planning to progressively work on the areas of submarine building. These are retrofitting of DRDO's AIP into Calvary class submarine, three additional submarines for of Calvary class and six new conventional submarines with AIP system. As we all know, the AIP system increases the underwater endurance of a conventional submarine from days to weeks. This helps to remain submerged and undetected for longer duration. There are many AIP systems developed worldwide. However, the best among them is the one based on the fuel cell. The DRDO's 270 kW fuel cell based AIP system uses phosphoric acid as an electrolyte that reacts with hydrogen and liquid oxygen to generate the electricity. The fuel cell aims to give endurance of up to 14 days to a conventional submarine. On 23rd January 2023, DIDO's Naval Materials Research Laboratory NMRL and French Naval Group signed an agreement according to which the Naval Group France will certify the AIP design for integration in the submarines. On 22nd June 2023, LNT and DIDO has signed a contract for realization of two AIP system modules for Calvary class of submarines of the Indian Navy. The first submarine to be retrofitted with DRDO's AIP is INS Calvary, which will be coming to docks in 2025 for retrofitting. The entire process of upgrading the Calvary class submarines with DRDO AIP may extend beyond a decade. However, they will result in six AIP powered submarines to Indian Navy. On 10th July 2023, the Defense Procurement Board has cleared the deal, which worth around 90 thousand crore rupees. The deal includes 26 Rafal M and three additional submarines which will be part of Scorpion deal under project 75. These submarines are to be built at MDL which will keep the MDL production line running for another 7 to 8 years and at the same time can launch submarines at much faster pace because most of the technology is already proven. Overall, the project 75 is going to yield nine submarines with DIDO's AIP. Now as a part of Project 75i, Indian Navy is looking to acquire six advanced submarines equipped with technologies which is not present in the existing fleet of Calvary class of submarines. The initial few years after the release of tender was having a lot of uncertainty majorly due to Indian Navy's requirement of a submarine with operational AIP system and many foreign OEMs pulled out of the tender. However, in last two months, two agreements were signed for this program. On 10th July, LNT and Spanish Defense Major Navencia inked a teaming agreement to jointly bid for Indian Navy's 43,000 crore contract for the procurement of six stealth submarines. They will be submitting a techno-commercial bid for the Indian Navy's Project 75I requirement. The firming up of the pact came over a month after German defense major TKMS and state-run MDL signed a framework agreement to bid for the Project 25i. It might take close to 15 years to get the first submarine out of the Project 75i. This will add additional six submarines with AIP system. Overall, the current plan of Indian Navy will add 15 submarines with AIP system in coming years. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind.
We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.